Bruce from Safari. We're going to look at this Explorer uh, motorhome here. I think it's an excellent RV for people wanting to travel around Australia. It's on the Hilux here. Let's uh, walk around and have a look at a couple of key features on this. Now we've put the uh, batteries in the side locker here. So while we're looking at this side locker, just to remind everyone, the regulation changes November the 18th. Every lithium battery inside an RV like this must be accessible from the outside. You just can't have them under the bed um, and they've got to be sealed. And this one here would uh, comply with that. So we've got in here 600 amp hours of lithium. We've got a 6,000 inverter on it to run the hot water, which we're going to show you in a minute. And we open up the door here and have a look behind the seat here. And that's where we've got uh, Scotty in there. So we've got a 3,000 Scotty in there. Works very nicely in there. You'll see the walkthrough here. So that allows this to be uh, registered as a full motorhome, which is at a reduced rate. And we've got here four of the portable solar panels, 700 watts of solar. And talking of solar, on the roof, I'll put an overlay, a photo of it. There's uh, 560 watts of solar on the roof. Um, before we go inside, I'm going to show you the electric hot water. So we've got the shower tucked in at the back here that you can see. Just, uh, running this on the hose here now. And you see the hot water comes on fairly good and it'll also show you how long you've been showering for there. Uh, there's a mixer on the back here. Let's have a look inside. Very nice floor lighting here. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at here is the hot water. That's the 48 volt. <clears throat> it's an 8 litre sitting under the sink. It goes to 70 C. It's got a thermostat on it. Um, <clears throat> the big advantage of this, it's a thousand watt reheat ability. So compared to the other 12 volt units are only 200 watts, then this will reheat uh, quite well. And <clears throat> we don't need a tempering valve on it because it's not going to the shower. And then on this side here, um, we've got the display up here. Then let's have a look at the rest of the motorhome here. And uh, you can see there's the bed. You've got access from either side. It's very, very comfortable. There's the walkthrough down there, and that allows it to be called a motorhome, and the registration, I think, drops to about half. It drops significantly. There's the 6,000 inverter charger. There's our modem in there, so you can look underneath there. This drops down. The new regulation, that has to be totally sealed. It can't be a lift-up lid like that at all, but that's no problem. Um, and then we've got the fridge, the shower, and the toilet at the back are separate, so quite spacious, I think, that's in there. And uh, very nice uh, mirror there, and a very nice uh, table and uh, seating arrangement there, and a double induction over here, spot down there for the microwave or the air fryer. So overall, uh, very spacious for a Hilux, I've got to say. How good's that?